What is up guys, it's Pavilion with another build guide video for season 17. In this video we are gonna talk about the Archon Wizard. This is my most favorite build for that class because it is really easy to build for. You can do speed rifts, speed greater rifts, you can also push the leaderboard with it. And right now everybody is playing it on the PTR and they are clearing a great 528 with only 1600 Paragon points. Unfortunately, they patched the PTR just a few minutes ago, so I cannot record a gameplay video for that. Um, and I have to use the Diablo 3 planner because I just lost all my gears again, unfortunately. Anyway, for this build, you want to use the first set, so you need every piece of it. This will give you the 6 set bonus, which is giving you a chance to create Archon stacks. And you will get that by casting skills while you are in Archon form. And each Archon stack will reduce your damage taken by 0.15%. Your armor and all resist will be increased by 1% and your damage will be increased by 100% for each stack you have. And normally you are with 300 Archon stacks. That means a lot of damage, a lot of armor and a lot of all resist. And enough damage reduction to be almost immortal. The belt is going to help us to create a nice start when we go in Archon form. This will give us 15 Archon stacks when turning in Archon form. We also want to use the Chen Toto's Resolve set. This will give us a nice damage blast or whatever you want to call it while in Archon form. And when you get out of Archon form and you deal damage, uh, your blast will be increased and you can have 20 stacks. When you have 20 stacks and when you can go in Archon form, you want to activate it, which means more amazing, beautiful damage. For the ring and necklace, we want to use the Endless Walk set. This was, will give us damage reduction when moving and when we are standing still, the damage will be increased. For the other ring, we will be using Halo of Karini. When our skill Storm um, blah, 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 um, or ele electrocutes someone, uh, we will get 80% damage reduction for 5 seconds. Uh, this will shoot automatically, you don't have to do anything for it. And because we are standing in the middle of masses most of the time, uh, we want to use Ancient Pardon Defenders. This will reduce the damage from nearby enemies if they got stunned, means more survivability. For the gems, headgear will be a blue gem for the cooldown reduction and for the armor and legs we want to use yellow gems for the increase in intelligence. For the legendary gems we want to use Bane of the Trap for the damage and slow effect, Bane of the Tricken, this will be your guardian killer, Gokoko Swiftness, this will give you more attack speed, cooldown reduction and some dodge gems. For the Kanai's Cube. The Furnace, this will help you to deal more damage against elites. The Swami, when your Archon expires, you still have that damage armor and all those things for 20 seconds, which is great. And then as last, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac will help you to get back in Archon form as fast as possible. You just want to shoot on everything and the cooldown will be lowered on your Archon form. And with the help of the Swami, you will be able to stay alive and maybe you can kill some monsters. For the Paragon points, just get 600 Paragon points and max out everything, then drop everything into Intelligence. That's the whole ID. For the skills, Static Discharge, you want to spam this because it will activate the Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac and that will reduce the cooldown on your skills so you can turn into Archon form faster. Slow time. Uh, I went for exhaustion because when you go out of Archon form you want to be able to get back into Archon form and I think with the slow time you got more time and you can reduce the damage from the masses and I guess that's important because you don't want to die. For the next skill, Magic Weapon Deflection, this will increase your damage by 10%. Frost Nova, Deep Freeze, this is very strong because you get a 2 second freeze on monsters. This is giving you even more time to stay alive. Archon Slow Time, has a chance to freeze monsters and when you activate Archon, your damage will be increased by 6% for each monster you kill. You get 150% armor and 30% damage increase next to your fierce set. 
and its last storm armor shocking aspect this will activate halo of karini which is giving you 80 percent damage reduction which is great for the passes audacity this will give you 30 percent additional damage unstable anomaly this is giving you a second life and if you die which is almost impossible you will just get second life that's just it unwavering will this will benefit you in all ways, it will give you more damage, more armor and all resist. And as last, effect way way when, because of the cooldown reduction. For the stat priorities, which I don't have, but I'm old enough to fucking know what I what we need. For the headgear, intelligence, vitality, critical chance, shoulders, intelligence, vitality, cooldown reduction and life percent. Uh, for the armor. I don't remember. Intelligence, vitality, and I guess armor. There we go. For the necklace, cold damage, critical chance, critical damage. For your gloves, intelligence, critical chance, critical damage, cooldown reduction. Belt, intelligence, vitality, life percent, and armor. For your braces, cold damage, critical chance, intelligence, vitality. For both of the rings, intelligence, critical chance, critical damage, cooldown reduction. For your pants, intelligence, vitality, armor. For your weapon, weapon damage, percent damage, attack speed, cooldown reduction. Boots, intelligence, vitality, all resist, armor. For your offhand damage, intelligence, critical chance, cooldown reduction. And for your rings, you can also go for damage because that's I guess more useful than intelligence anyway how to play this build um, it is really easy but in the beginning it can be a little bit harder you want to kill mo some monsters to get more stacks on Archon, Archon and you don't want to die when you leave out of Archon you want to keep shooting at monsters to get back into Archon form the obsidian ring of the zodiac will help you with that back in Archon form your belt will give you 50 free stacks which will give you around 100 stacks and from then on it's really easy to get around 120 or 130 stacks then you lose 50 stacks but when you go back into Archiform you gain 50 stacks which means you are probably gonna hit 200 stacks and from then on it's really easy you just wanna go into Archon form. you wanna shoot on monsters if you get out of our well when your Archon form expires you just wanna shoot on monsters and just get back into Archon form as fast as possible and destroy everything so this build is really fun crazy i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a comment like and subscribe also turn on the notification it's next to the subscribe button and then we'll see you in the next video enjoy peace